This morning in the impeachment showdown, the acting chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, is attempting to join a lawsuit, essentially telling House investigators, if you want to talk to me, take me to court. Meanwhile, an attorney for the former National Security Advisor, John Bolton, sent a letter Friday to those same investigators saying Bolton has critical information about Ukraine that he has not yet made public. ABC's Kira Phillips is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Kira, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. Well, reading between the lines, that letter from Bolton's attorney was a veiled criticism of the impeachment inquiry, actually suggesting that House investigators are leaving firsthand evidence on the table from a witness who has spoken directly to the president by not having the patience to subpoena Bolton and wait for a court to rule on it. John Bolton's lawyer says the former national security advisor has relevant information on Ukraine that has not been disclosed and that his client could add critical testimony to the impeachment probe. In this letter to congressional leaders, Charles Cooper writes that Bolton has knowledge of meetings and conversations that have not yet been discussed in the testimonies thus far. Congress has not subpoenaed Bolton, but he is willing to testify if a court rules he has to. Bolton figured prominently in the latest transcript released from those closed-door depositions surrounding Trump's offering of a quid pro quo, is said to have distanced himself from those efforts to dig up dirt on political rival Joe Biden in exchange for withheld military aid. Former top White House Russia expert Fiona Hill testified that suggestion caused Bolton, who immediately stiffened, to end the meeting. She also expressed concerns over the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, who was negotiating with Ukraine, calling him a hand grenade who was going to blow up everyone. Also doubling down on that notion, National Security Council Ukraine expert, Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman who was on that now infamous call with Trump and the Ukrainian president. He was asked if he had any doubt Trump was asking for investigations of his political opponents. There was no doubt, Vindman said. And the next big step, open hearings next week, where the public will get to see and hear what's only been going on behind closed doors up until now. And I'll be right here all week on the Hill, Eva. All right, Kira, thank you. We will be watching for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.